Hi, everyone. My name is Kyle Butner, and I'm a product manager on Spotify's Platform Insights Squad. We're the team of data scientists and researchers who define, measure, and help Spotify understand developer productivity and happiness. You've heard us talk a lot about data today, specifically how much we rely on gathering the right data so that we can make informed decisions about where to invest and improve the development experience for our Spotify engineers. One way we do this is by collecting usage data across our developer experience. In other words, data about how our developers behave. That tells us loads about where our engineers are getting stuck and bogged down. But instrumenting our systems to get this data can be tricky and sometimes requires a big investment. Luckily, there's another type of data we collect that's similarly powerful, self-reported behavior data. And how do we get that? We just ask our engineers to tell us about their experience. That's where Pulse comes in. The Pulse plugin is an R&D survey framework that lets you track key self-reported productivity and satisfaction metrics, analyze anonymized response data, and visualize trends and insights, all within Backstage. Like Soundcheck, Pulse is ultimately a decision-making tool for Spotify, one that helps us determine the future of our products, how we address unmet needs, and how we build empathy, as Tyson mentioned earlier. Now, maybe you're already running a developer survey, but you're not quite sure the questions you're asking are the right ones. Or maybe teams across your organization are running many of their own surveys, leading to survey fatigue. Or perhaps you're just flying blind, which is all too common for platform teams. In any case, Pulse has the potential to transform your organization, just as it's done internally at Spotify, where it's become a foundational part of our engineering culture. At Spotify, Pulse began as an effort to get better quality data on the overall health of the R&D org, as well as answer specific questions where we had hunches about problems that needed fixing. It's now deployed on a quarterly basis to Spotify's developers, data scientists, and machine learning engineers. Prior to Pulse, our product teams would have to run their own surveys or conduct listening tours, and our Central Insights team would have to reach out to consolidate these findings across R&D to identify trends. Or in many cases, we'd simply go with our gut. But now that we've been running Pulse for the last three years at Spotify, we've noticed a few key benefits. First, it helps our teams put real values to key R&D metrics like productivity, satisfaction, and flow. Second, it helps us find ways to make R&D faster by highlighting real bottlenecks, problems, and development opportunities. Third, it helps us measure the impact of R&D investments, which is something that teams have struggled with before. And lastly, it helps us build trust within the R&D community who see this as an opportunity to make their voices heard and see change. Pulse is unique because it focuses on the concerns of developers and other members of your tech community, telling you everything that a general HR survey can't from what your data scientists really think about your workflow tooling, to how often your developers feel like they can achieve flow, to the most common blockers teams say they're facing. Here are a few examples of where we see the impact of Pulse across Spotify. In goal setting, Pulse data is often used as a key indicator. One of our company level OKRs this year, for example, measured success with Pulse's perceived engineering velocity metric. It's the norm to see this data across all levels of OKR. We've also seen its impact in directing key R&D initiatives, like when we saw an acceleration of a key software migration due to issues raised in the survey. Finally, we see its impact in identifying opportunities to increase developer effectiveness, like when we identified documentation discoverability as a major issue and launched the Backstage Explorer tab, which those in the open source community will know all about as a result. By helping you clearly quantify developer effectiveness through satisfaction and productivity, the Pulse plugin allows you to collect the data that you need to drive continuous improvements to your R&D tooling, processes, and culture, and ship code faster. So let's take a look at how Pulse works inside Backstage. The homepage is the starting point for survey respondents and R&D contributors interested in viewing the survey results. It pulls out key information for them at the top, like how many people have responded to the current survey, and a call to action to complete their response. You've also got the option to check out previous surveys. The homepage also gives key details about the survey methodology, process, and results data. For example, this is where we go into our policy around privacy and anonymity, which is so important to making sure developers feel safe to speak their mind. By providing context up front, survey respondents ideally understand and feel comfortable completing the survey, which promotes authentic responses and accurate insights. It's really simple to administer your Pulse surveys as well. We provide a straightforward template that lets any survey administrator or set of administrators launch a survey in seconds. All administrators need to do is choose a start and end date for the survey, then send a survey link to your participants. Pulse eliminates the need to spend time configuring the survey, questions, or user base. 
just send it where it needs to go. We've also made it really simple to take the survey. Pulse survey participants take the entire survey within Backstage. The questions in Pulse are designed to collect data around certain metrics we think are key to understanding the developer experience. The core Pulse question set only takes a few minutes to complete, and it's entirely integrated into the participant's existing Backstage workflow, which means you're more likely to get the feedback you need. Finally, the Results tab displays Pulse survey results to any Backstage user once the results have been reviewed and published by the survey administrator. The results show trends over time for core R&D metrics like productivity, flow state, and satisfaction. This helps leaders and teams across your business prioritize initiatives that will speed up R&D over the short and long term. This is just the beginning. Use Pulse to start collecting key productivity and happiness metrics using our straightforward framework. And in the coming months, we'll be rapidly iterating to expand the data collection capabilities of the plugin and the insights you can get from it.